everyone welcome to my youtube channel i want to share my thoughts on the cancel korea buhaha which was triggered by some koreans calling filipinos poor ugly <laughs> uneducated short and so on uh well those koreans got offended when they saw the tattoo of Bella Porch on TikTok. I understand this tattoo showed um, the red sun and 16 rays. I think these are symbols that were used in the Japanese flag during Japanese occupation in Korea, sort of an equivalent to that of Nazis Germany swastika. As you all know by now, um, Bella Porch is a Filipino who migrated to the United States when she was 13 years old so those Koreans saw this tattoo and they hastily reacted negatively to it the worst is they made sweeping statements about Filipinos so derogatory statements that Filipinos fired back who wouldn't right there was this male Korean who even made an improvised flipping flag, spat on it, step on it, crumpled it, then threw it in the trash. So here's my take to all of this. Firstly, some Koreans threw the first punch by insulting all the Filipinos. Those can be counted as racism. I said some Koreans, not Koreans, because there were only some Koreans who made derogatory statements. They don't speak for all Koreans, you know. Secondly, Filipinos reacted by calling to cancel Korea. I guess that means not to patronize Korean novellas, Koreans, products, and all. I don't think this is right because that would constitute to racism as well. So it's like racism versus racism it would have been better if the filipinos called out every single korean who made these insulting statements i like to believe filipinos are above that you know canceling everything about korea would be a bad move because who are we kidding you love those telenovelas the k-pop their beauty products and what have you don't cut off your nose to spite your face, you know, as the saying goes. I'm sure most of you wouldn't do it, would you? And to those Koreans, with emphasis, those Koreans who insulted the Filipinos in general, do your research first, okay? I'm sure we have some cultural similarities and common values and ideals. Your country is not the only country that was invaded by Japan. Philippines suffered too during Japanese occupation in, I think, in the 40s, but it's 2020 already. Those involved in that war were already dead, and you need to move on, you know. All that remains are lessons learned from that terrible time. Bella Porch admitted already her mistake, and she even apologized for her transgression, and yes, she should. She should have done her research first before having that tattoo. So since you, the guys who threw the first punch, shouldn't you apologize to for being racist and hurting the pride of the Filipinos? You threw the first punch, so you need to apologize. The last I heard, those Koreans who insulted the Philippine flag, you know, they they already said that they wouldn't apologize. So that would only show your true colors and your your country and your countrymen should be ashamed of you. I know there are some Koreans who already apologize on their behalf. If you look at the videos, there are Filipinos too that insulted the Korean flag. As you can see, these Filipinos did what uh, those Koreans did to our Philippine flag. So I think it's tit for tat for some Filipinos, but I don't think that's a good move for the Filipinos because uh you're just adding fire to the to the issue so let's just um forgive and forget because the koreans apologized 
on behalf of those two guys who insulted the Philippine flag and I've read some of the comments that the Filipinos accepted the apology so let's just leave it at that and move on okay there are more important things to to spend energy on you know there are more important things to do than being involved in this brouhaha so on that note I'd like to end this video by saying we are in the middle of a pandemic so let's spend our time to more important things like reflect on how we can better ourselves as a people and not dwell on negativity spread positivity okay so thank you so much for being with me today so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and share this video as well okay and don't forget to click that subscribe button I would really appreciate it. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Of some Korean netizens, I would like to apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'm very sorry for you guys. I feel very uncomfortable because I also grew up in the Philippines. So I do feel very sorry for you guys. I would like to apologize on behalf of those rude Korean netizens.